Hi, this is Jack Westerman for ESCANews.com here in Paris, France for the Electronic Sports World Cup 2013. Uh, joining me this time are Fetish and Zipniks uh, from Copenhagen Wolves, hopefully pronounced correctly. Kind-ish, it'll do. <laughs> Okay, first of all, ESWC in the heart of Paris, France. Uh, is it good to be here, first of all? First of all? Uh, it's my second time here at the ESWC and it's, uh, it's always nice to be here. It's a lovely city and um, yeah, the hotel's great, so we're happy. Whereabouts are you staying, out of interest? Uh, the Adagio Apartments. And what room numbers? No. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about groups, first of all. Uh, you had Kick, C3, and Very Games. Let's talk about the first two matches. So Kick, 16-8, and C3, 16-1. Very good games. Obviously, you only lost nine rounds going into the third match. What went so well for those in those first two games? Did you feel like things were just clicking for you? Um, yeah. Uh, I think it went very well. Um, maybe uh, in the Kick game, we decided to make some stupid mistakes sometimes. Um, even though it looked uh, good on the score, uh, I think it was much closer than it should have been. Um, the C3 game was just, yeah, overrun. Did you want to add to that? or? Yeah, well, I I'm pretty much agree with uh, Subix that the result against Kig lies a bit, because we had a really good start, but they fucked up a defuse, where they left the defuse. I'm not sure if they could have made it, but he kind of left the defuse after a few seconds and then made him not. Uh, make it in time and we threw away a lot of rounds against them so yeah. well we weren't as it wasn't as comfortable a win as the result says okay. it felt a lot harder playing them so you say there is there's room for improvement you mentioned that you made some mistakes uh, what are your initial thoughts what what changes are you gonna make for tomorrow or sorry the day after tomorrow we're gonna prepare uh, kind of the same way we did today, watch some demos, talk about our own strategies versus how they're going to fit up against the team that we're going to play. We don't know which team we're going to play yet, but we can kind of predict who's going to finish two or second in the group. Um, so I guess that's how we're going to do it, like normal. Uh, okay, so jumping back to the group stage again, very games, the final game. I mean, you must be pretty pleased with that, right? Uh, I guess the question being, did you expect to beat Very Games, or did you kind of, I don't know, t talk me through the game, talk me through the game. Uh, no, we didn't expect to uh, win against Very Games, I can honestly say that. Um, they are in tough shape, you saw, they showed that at uh, the EMS last weekend, um, where we also lost badly to them. Um, I think that uh, we had some great communication going on. Uh, Still a bit uh, mistakes and such, but um, and I uh, think that Bird Games didn't play up to their best, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess why why, as you say, you lost badly to Bird Games last week. Today you turned it around. Was it the map? Was it them? Uh, you say they play poorly. Did Nuke help? Has your preparation leading up to the event helped? I mean, can you kind of explain? what you've done differently to turn it around so rapidly? Yeah, well, firstly, we have looked over all our demos from uh, EMS and, uh, well, we have come up to many conclusions and uh, mistakes which has been fixed, so that might have been helped. Um, I also think that... Uh, no, not really. Yeah. Um, now, you've had a couple of roster changes recently. Uh, you changed two players after DreamHack Summer and one w about a month ago or so, uh, Device. Um, do you feel like you're a better team now than you were four months ago, say, five months ago? The main, well, I'm, I've been in the rust all the, all, yeah, during the entirety of the yeah, existence of this team. Um, we didn't make roster changes, we were forced to do so. Once had to quit a uh, Cajun kind of rage, so he left and uh, device he yeah kind of yeah was being a child again. Uh, so we we were just yeah we had to change players. Uh, I would say that any of the given or the older lineups could have been just as great if people just kept on playing instead of being retards and leaving all the time. So uh, yeah, this team is better because we've had actually had the time to play together and we work on stuff instead of just 
Yeah, fuck it all up. Uh, and another interesting point that was, uh, well, I was made aware of just before we started is that you're the largest age difference in your team, right? So there's eight years between the two of you, 18 and 26, right? Just from a, I guess it's just out of interest, do you learn anything from the older members of the team? Uh, no, no. He's a bit, uh, he's next to each uh, other, so he does learn a few tricks. Yeah. Outside of the bedroom, though, any any lessons learned outside the bedroom? Um, no, he's acting like a child all the time, <laughs> so nothing to take from down. Right. Uh, and I'm aware it's toward the end of the day. I am going to let you go soon. Last two questions. Uh, you say you don't know which teams you're going to face tomorrow. Uh, is there any any team you'd want to avoid of all the possible second seeds? Uh, who are you most wary of? Well, that game that's going on down there, the viewers can see it, but it's uh, Fnatic against uh, Astana. Uh, I guess that Fnatic can be a really, really strong opponent, uh, or Astana, if they finish second. Uh, Alcinate in that the group is really strong as well. Uh, the last group is like the group of death, with LGB, Complexity and Clan Mystic. Any one of those are going to be a pain in the ass, so yeah, they're all good teams. And FM Toxic showed great play as well today, so I wouldn't say there's any anyone that we prefer, but I would rather avoid LGB and uh, anyone from that last group, pretty much. So still playing it cautiously, fair to say. Uh, and last question, DreamHack obviously coming up in about, well, the end of this month, right? To what extent are you kind of holding stuff back and taking this event, I mean, it's, DreamHack's a big event. Are you taking this event any less seriously because you're building up towards DreamHack? No, this is this is us giving it everything. We have time from between this event and DreamHack to improve or change strategies or playing styles or whatever. Um, so this is us going, yeah, going at it. The real deal. Okay. Uh, and lastly but not least, any shout-outs, guys. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we got uh, Steel Series, awesome, uh, Obutu, uh, Adidas, and Complete the DK. Yeah, I noticed the Adidas uh, tops. Very nice. Uh, okay, thank you very much for the interview, guys. Congratulations on qualifying. Uh, and for everybody at home, ESEANews.com has everything your heart could desire. Stay tuned. Thanks a lot. <laughs>